Why should you lift your truck? Why should you go out to customoffsets.com right now to the suspension page and order a lift kit for your truck right now? This is a common question that I'm sure you and many others ask themselves when looking at kits on our website, seeing videos on our YouTube channel, or even dreaming about modifying the absolute heck out of your truck. I'm Lawson, you can find me at lawson.co on the gram, and although there are many answers and applications to that question, I think we need to kick it back to a much more simple time and give you guys a little bit of history on how lifted trucks even started in the first place, World War II. Back then, vehicles were built with springs, not shock absorbers, flatbeds to carry loads for farmers and tradesmen, but nothing truly designed for long distance driving or even hauling. Back then, there was a man, a French man by the name of Adolf, not what you think, Cagresi, Cagresi, however you spell or pronounce his name. He was the man that introduced and invented the half track and dual clutch transmission back then and was hired to engineer a vehicle, the Cagresi track, that was capable of going through literally anything, dirt, mud, snow, any sort of obstacle, anything like that back then to get troops and supplies into enemy lines during World War II. These things were absolute freaking units, man. The term track or half track was referred to a continuous conveyor of relatively fast moving rubber, which I mean, back then probably seemed fast, but obviously today's day and age wasn't all that fast. Now these things would later be used to fill troops with and overwhelm their opponents with surprise, lightning quick attacks known as the Blitzkrieg. Boom, these things were freaking everywhere. All these off-road lifted trucks filled with troops coming in out of nowhere with all these crazy fast attacks and it was very successful. Now once the world was over, a wide range of industries saw the success and implemented the newly lifted truck tactic for their own use, such as construction companies, you know, needing to move a lot of machinery and materials. They saw that they could be using the same tactics that was used in World War II. Fast forward to the 1940s and off-road capable vehicles started launching into the public with the British Land Rover and the first Jeep truck. Crazy to think how far Jeep has come, especially with the newly released Jeep Gladiator. I mean, my grandpa even had one of those old Jeep trucks. I remember blowing the radiator, but hey, we won't talk about that. Fast forward another 20 years to the 1960s and Ford released the one and only off-road capable Ford Bronco and later Toyota followed with the Land Cruiser. These nimble sport utility vehicles debuted the four wheel drive options and larger, wider tires for people who desired to take their vehicles off road for the hell of it or to daily commute if you lived up here in the frozen tundra by us. Fast forward 10 more years and the first monster truck was born, Bigfoot. Bob Chandler was known for wrecking his F-250 and rebuilding and making better and better, taller and taller every single time. I mean, the man upped his lift size from 48 inches to 66 inches. Eventually, Bob would set up some cars out in a field next to each other, set up a camera, you know, whatever they really had back then, and drive over them with Bigfoot. This content went viral before viral was really even a word. Gained a lot of popularity and boom, monster trucking was born and I know dang well, you and myself included, have been to a monster truck show. I mean, come on, going to a monster jam as a kid and seeing those things rip literally drove my passion to one day own a huge lifted truck. By this time, manufacturers noticed the increased interest in modified vehicles and started to offer trucks from the factory with upgraded suspension kits and components, and the rest is history. I mean, heck, you can roll up to dealerships these days and buy brand new trucks with special edition trims with not only suspension kits, but also wheels and tires and much more. Trust me, we have built multiple trucks for dealerships around here. A lifted truck is just so much more appealing, especially when shopping for a new truck. So now that we've covered a little bit of the history, let's talk about the main reason why you guys might want to lift your truck. I mean, for starters, let's all just agree that there's literally nothing like cruising around town in your lifted truck. Windows down, Cody Johnson playing on the radio and just watching all the heads turn as you pass by. I like to call that my everyday special. Aside from the feeling of driving a lifted truck, Having a lifted truck does come with some pros. We all have that one friend who always seems to move all the time or needs something big moved or always buys the biggest stuff at the store and always needs a hand with picking something up or moving something somewhere, but that hand always turns into you literally helping him out, doing all the work, him just sitting there watching you and never giving you gas money. I know we all have that friend. 
sure you can do this with a stock suspension, but I mean, don't you wanna look cool as hell doing it lifted? Now I can go on and on about why I think you guys should lift your truck, but there are also things to note, like my eight miles a gallon I get with my Silverado because I decided to slap a nine inch lift kit on it with 24s and 37s and push it to its absolute limits. But hey, that's minor. Or the fact that you might just have to park and walk inside because you just can't fit through the local drive-through, also minor. Or the multiple point turns because you have a big show truck or a big daily really and are wide as hell and you just you know have to pull forward and backward and pull forward and backward you know just to get where you want to go but hey that just means everyone gets a chance to check out your ride a little bit longer or the fact that you might just get some middle fingers from some karens because you're having a hell of a time in your lifted truck cruising down the street they're just mad it's also minor and definitely worth it or maybe you just want to be part of a culture with a bunch of people who you know, share the same interests as you, like modifying your vehicle, making it your own and being proud of it, hitting the streets or mud or whatever you really want to do because it's your truck. Once you lift it though, let me tell you guys, you get addicted to modifying the thing. Next thing you know, you have all sorts of parts coming in. I swear I look at more parts every single day for my truck. I see your guys' comments. I need tow mirrors, I know. I need a grill, I know. I'm looking into it, all right, stay patient. Now, whether you're building a show truck, an off-road monster like Bob Chandler, or you're just trying to add some style to your daily, there are so many options when it comes to lifting your truck. Let's say you have a truck and you wanna get started in the show scene. There are a freaking ton of options on our website right now to get your truck jacked up and looking right. Everyone at the shop's been slapping six to 10 inch kits on their truck, and currently the shop looks like a mini truck meet every single day. Don't believe me? Come check out our shop. June 26, because we're having a truck show. From Magoys to FTS to Rough Country to Ready Lift and so much more, there are a ton of companies out there offering show size lifts for your truck, and you guys can go out to the website right now and scoop them up. Now, let's just say mall crawling isn't your thing. You want to slap a kid on your off-road overland rig, go hit the dirt and mud and have a blast with some buddies and not worry about blowing out a shock or snapping an upper control arm. Well, buddy, we have a bunch of kits as well as upper control arms that are designed to take the beating and show your buddies you aren't scared to send your truck off into the pickers. And if you want some nice new shiny wheels and a set of tires, but you need to go up just a little bit on your daily commuter, and we also have some leveling kits and some smaller kits as well that don't break the bank or leave your wife barking up your tree. At the end of the day, if you guys have driven a lifted truck, you know the answer to my opening question of why should you lift your truck? Well, pal, it's because you are an enthusiast who loves to be up in a lifted truck that may get some crappier gas mileage but you can help a friend if need be. You stuff some nice, huge, shiny new wheels and some tires on, and you send your truck off the pavement. You can be part of this crazy culture we all eat, sleep, and breathe. Now that's why I think you guys should lift your truck, and you guys can do so by scooping up a kit at customoffsets.com. I wanna thank you guys for coming out and check out today's video. I'll see you all in the next one.